so apart from this apart from all these european databases that we discussed there is one more you know remember i told you earlier that one such example is ebi ebi european bioinformatics institute and this name is you know something like very very important in terms of bioinformatics tools two name ebi and ncbi ebi is european bioinformatics institute and ncbi is national center of biotechnology information both are playing the crucial role in maintaining a huge amount of data in all the different kinds of database so european biological or european bioinformatics institute uh, under uh, it is under embl okay what is embl full form european molecular biology laboratory embl they provide the bioinformatics information it's actually very important that we have a lab facility uh, which is wet lab facility of course and then we have this dry lab facility so what is the difference between the wet lab and dry lab and cross flow let's understand we have wet lab where we run all the experiment experiments are done experiments on uh, on dna rna uh, experiments on protein all these things we perform we do and then all the data that we gather is transferred to the dry lab where we store the data we analyze the data we modify the data and we cross talk or cross check cross check sorry cross check after after what cross check after modification after uh prediction so we do prediction here of course we do prediction and then we cross check that prediction and then based on that we get a yes or a no or not up or no based on that we can understand an organism and how that organism behaves because now basically it's not likely you know there are plenty of years earlier when we see an organism based on its morphology and appearance we decide everything but nowadays we don't even look at morphology it doesn't matter whether how much similar they look from outside phenotype doesn't matter everything that matter is the genotype uh, how it's actually made up and everything is possible with this cross talk of wet lab and dry lab so that's why this always the greatest uh, biotechnology greatest bioinformatics tools can only be hosted when they are connected to molecular lab or wet lab facility so for example here is the european molecular biology laboratory embl under this we run the experiment on all and that hosts in the ebi okay it was established in 1980s okay at embl okay and it was first as a nucleotide sequence database it started as a nucleotide sequence database and then sooner it managed start managing different kinds of biological databases and now what we have we have dna sequences genome sequences we have microarrays proteomics structural genomics and so many different things are under this roof and basically when you heard this name you know genomics proteomics structural genomics all this sounds very complicated all this sounds very you know similar so people use this terms quite often so for that also i'll do a mythbuster portion at the end of this lecture which will help you to understand and forget all the misconception and understand only what is real okay so always we have a we need a need we require a need to collect store and curate in all the little bit of information from genome proteome uh, structure of the protein and all the different places and put them together okay and we have multiple genome projects running uh, in different places of the earth okay and the data came in so we'll gather them okay so what happened in 1992 embl voted to establish this ebi and then this ebi got established embl started then and the ebl got established in 1992 okay so basically a, it provides the search assisted to lead bioinformatic revolution that is what ebi is actually made for and now ebi hosts various databases various it actually let me write it hosts various 
various databases okay so this various database what kind of database it can be it can be nucleotide database right it can be microarray microarray database it can be pathways protein pathways okay there are different pathways available in that database uh, protein structural database all these different types of database hosted under this ebi and there are various tools available as well there are various tools available that are actually these various tools that will help us to find out information regarding all these different type from different type of database like nucleotide sequence microarray pathways protein sequence and protein structure okay so for example let me write down important name of the tool one of them is prat p r a w t prat okay why prat is formed to find patterns patterns basically conserved patterns conserved patterns okay second thing pp search we have pp search now why pp search is for basically it is there to compare the query sequence query sequence means the sequence that we feed in against all patterns that are stored in the prosite database that is called pp search comparison okay okay another tool inter pro scan inter pro scan what it does basically we have inter pro and the query sequence is scanned against the inter pro inter pro has some information so we scan it against it then we have what else we have emboss emboss all capital basically it's a sequence comparison tool sequence comparison end to end comparison every little detail will be compared in emboss what else we'll have pride p r i d all capital pride what it is for proteomics proteomics data okay what else we have let me write another tool name align align what align stand for basically alignment what we do we do pair wise global and pair wise local alignment pair wise global and local alignment is done with align okay cluster w2 cluster w2 what it does again a tool for multiple sequence alignment multiple sequence alignment msa there are different types of alignments remember we'll discuss about that in later uh, separate lecture multiple sequence alignment in cluster w2 align is we will do the global alignment and local alignment what else we have saps what saps is for statistics of protein sequence statistical tool statistics of protein sequence that is saps what we have else we have fasta fasta what we do sequence similarity searching tool is fasta then what we have blast we have blast what is blast for again sequence similarity searching tool fasta blast both do the similar thing little difference we'll talk about that later on what else we have number 11 dali light dali light what we do pair wise sequence or pair wise actually pair wise structural comparison this is structural comparison 
here you can see fast and blast will do sequence similarity search while dali light or daily light will do structural comparison okay what else we have read sequence this is known as sequence format conversion tool and it is very very important actually right now you may not understand why it is important to convert a sequence there are different formats of sequence just like there are different format of a file you know video file when you play uh, there is dot mp4 dot uh, dot avi okay dot mpeg2 dot mpeg4 so we have different kinds as well in case of uh, this sequence uh, this this information that we have that are available because we are doing this for different databases the database there is ncbi there are some database hosted by us their database hosted by uk they do this in different ways their own terms so the the raw files have different formats so the format com conversion is also important and read sequence will do the format conversion format conversion okay there are some more examples if you open up the site you will see that but i'm not going to write them down here so these are all the types of tools uh, that are available there under EBI even there are four or five more tools available Tcoffee is also there which is known for multiple sequence alignment okay uh, then there is also PDB site PDBE site uh, that helps us to search active site based on ligand where exactly it binds so let me write that one that's important PDB all capital PDBE then site simply okay uh, it helps uh, helps us to find out uh, active site active site in enzyme based on ligand or ligand binding ligand binding okay so there are some more tools available out there you can check them out